Joined by Marty Biron. Marty, the Bruins clearly have the Maple Leafs' attention right now. Sheldon Keefe even admitted to watching tape on Boston during the intermission of Wednesday night's game. One thing I'm sure that we can all agree on, there's a big gap in the goaltending. We know that. What's advantage Boston. But just how big is the gap between the Leafs and the Bruins in net? Well, Gino, it's not measured in inches. It's measured in miles right now <laughs> when you look at the gap between the two sides of the goaltending. You have Ilya Samsonov, who has won games but has really struggled of late. And then you thought, well, maybe Joseph Wall is going to be that guy after the injury. But Joseph Wall has not performed at the same level he did earlier in the season. So now you look at the Leafs. How are they feeling about either one of those guys in that. And I think it's iffy at best. On the other side with Boston, you have a Vesna Trophy winning Lena Solmark, who is, in my opinion, the backup to Jeremy Swayman. Jeremy Swayman has had a fantastic season and I think will be the starter in game one. So at any moment, they can say, hey, you know what? You want to put any of your guys against our guy, not just in that, but when you look at the blue line, you look at the defense overall, including the goaltending, it's a wide, wide margin measured in miles when it comes to Toronto and Boston in that first round matchup. So not even close. All right, so the Bruins rotated their goalies during the regular season. Last year, they did the same, but they changed course for the playoffs and were eliminated in the opening round. What about this year? Should the Bruins stick with what got them here this year and alternate between Swayman and Allmark, or should they pick a starter and stick with them, Marty? Pick a starter, stick with it. No rotation, right? This is not 82 game regular season. It's playoffs. And every game has its importance. And you should go with the best lineup, the best group that gets you out there. If there's was back to back, which we don't see in the playoffs anymore, I can understand going from one goalie to the other. The problem with Boston last year is Lena Solmark was hurt, and they waited too long to get to Jeremy Swayman. They waited until game seven against the Florida Panthers to put Swayman in there. They didn't give him give themselves the best chance when they were up 3-1. They should have gone to Swayman earlier. I don't think Boston's gonna make that same mistake again. So they may go to Allmark if Swayman start or Swayman if Allmark start at some point in the series. But don't have this as a rotation if you're the Boston Bruins. I can tell you as a former goaltender, you want to be the guy. You want to go into a playoff series and know that it is yours to lead. But at any moment, if you feel like the ground is a little shaky underneath you, switch. Don't wait until game seven like they did last year. I see that. All right. One other player that's going to have the Leafs' attention, obviously, is Brad Marchand. He turns 36 in a few weeks. Hasn't had a multi-point game in over a month now. He played all 82 games, but finished with just 67 points. His lowest points per game total in almost a decade. Is he still a player the Leafs need to fear, Marty? Oh, they definitely have to fear Brad Marchand. I was going to say Todd Marchand, <laughs> a former player, but Brad Marchand's even better, right? And when you look at Brad Marchand, yes, he had a low total of points this year. He still scored 29 goals. He's still a secondary threat on the power play with a seven power play goals. Pasternak's the main threat. Marchand is right there. And when you play Marchand three or four times in the regular season, you can kind of, you know, put his antics away and feel like, ah, you know what, we're not going to get into it. But this is a seven-game series. And Marchand is smart enough to find that crack at any moment in that series to get under the skin of the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, I think he can do it off the ice with his attitude and his intangibles that he brings to the ice. But I still think that his, his hockey is at a high level. Listen, last year he had 10 points in seven playoff games. The year before, 11 points in seven playoff games. He's better than a point a game in the playoffs over his last seven playoff years. I think he still can produce on the ice and bring whatever rat stuff he can bring on the ice to affect the Maple Leafs. It's the first playoff series where Marchand's going to be having the C on his sweater. He took over the captaincy in yep. Boston after Patrice Bergeron's retirement. It's going to be interesting to see how that C affects Marchand in the postseason when discipline really matters the most.